Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique Gatling Laser, Final Judgment. Now this is going to get pretty heavy on the spoilers. If spoilers aren't your thing, click here to skip ahead to the safe part of the video. Seriously, if you don't like spoilers, this is going to make you cry. Alright, so now that the week have left and it's just us strong, ballsy mofos remaining, let's discuss the acquisition of Final Judgment. It is carried by Elder Maxon during the Institute quest quest Airship Down, and also during the Railroad quest Precipice of War. So first of all, during Airship Down, as you were trying to hack Liberty Prime before the upload is complete, Elder Maxon will attack via Vertibird. If the Vertibird is destroyed, he will fight on the ground. This gives the player the opportunity to obtain his Elder Power Armor and his unique weapon, Final Judgment. There is also a confirmed bug where Final Judgment will not spawn upon killing Elder Maxon, so be wary of that. Secondly, if you are currently siding with the Minutemen and you want to obtain this weapon without siding with the Brotherhood of Steel. Just continue the railroad quests until you receive the quest Precipice of War. But do not go to the police station. Instead of the police station, go to the Pridwin and kill Elder Maxon in order to receive final judgment off his body. Once again, there is a confirmed bug in which it will not spawn. If you kill Elder Maxon at any other point in the game, he will not be carrying this weapon, therefore he will not drop it. He will only be carrying it in the two previously mentioned quests. Thirdly and spuriously, there have been claims that Elder Maxon will be carrying Final Judgment during the Brotherhood of Steel quest at Victorium and the Nuclear Option. However, because you will be sided with him during these quests, he cannot be killed. Therefore, according to this rumor, you will need the pickpocket perk at rank 3 or higher, so you can pickpocket it off him as he is carrying it. I cannot confirm nor deny these claims. However, I have seen no photographic or videographic evidence, only whimsical claims on forums. And welcome back to the spoiler free safe haven. So now that we have acquired Final Judgment via any one of those methods, let's take a look at the stats. As always, before looking at Final Judgment's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no perk, bobblehead, or magazine effects applied to my character. This will give us the absolute minimum base stats of Final Judgment. You will have to make a choice between the standard barrel and the charging barrels. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at both. Firstly, we're going to be fully modding it out, however, we're going to be leaving on the standard barrel. So with the standard barrel, Final Judgment has a base energy damage of 24, it uses fusion cores as ammunition, its fire rate is 340, its range is 227, accuracy is 63, weight is 29.2, and value is 4442. As we can see at the top in the middle, Final Judgment 25% faster rate of fire, 15% faster reload. Take note of that rate of fire. And now we will be applying the charging barrels to Final Judgment. As we can see, the charging barrels does better damage and range but has an inferior rate of fire. So now with the charging barrels, Final Judgment has a base energy damage of 66. It still uses fusion cores as ammunition. Its fire rate has dropped from 340 to 90. Its range has increased from 227 to 251. Its accuracy is still 63. Its weight has gone up from 29.2 to 39.5. And its value has increased slightly from 4442 to 4799. And of course, its legendary effect is still there, Final Judgment, 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload. Firstly, we will be looking at Final Judgment with the standard barrels applied to it, which of course has a much lower damage but an insanely fast fire rate. So as we know, the standard barrels give it a much, much faster fire rate. It can actually deliver more damage per second provided every shot hits the enemy. However, if your enemy dodges, you will waste more rounds faster while adjusting your aim. As we can see on screen, it burns through ammunition quite fast. Also, keep in mind that Final Judgment uses fusion cores as ammunition, which are something you do not want to burn through any faster than you have to. While using the standard barrels on Final Judgment, I did find it more effective for mowing down large groups of lightly armored enemies due to its speed. Of course, it performs better at close to medium ranges, spread and weapon range make it a bad option for long ranges. With all that said, it is still one of the most powerful weapons I have come across. If you're still not sold on the weapon, don't worry, chin up, have some optics mism. Because now we're going to take a look at it with the charging barrels modification applied to it. As we know from earlier, the charging barrels increase the damage quite a lot. However, it drastically reduces the fire rate. Now, although on the face of it, this may seem like a downside, as the damage increase is not paralleled with the fire rate reduction. So with the charging barrels, it delivers a lower DPS than with the standard barrels. On the bright side, however, you will miss much less as you have more 
reaction time between shots to adjust your aim. This combined with the fact that it shoots slower, you will reserve more and make much more use of ammunition. And just as a comparison, as you can see on screen, we're killing the same ghouls that we killed earlier with the standard barrels. Now, although the process is a little bit longer because it shoots more slowly, by the end of it, we have used less than half of the ammunition that we used with the standard barrels to kill the same amount of ghouls. And although the charging barrels gives Final Judgment a slightly higher weapon range, it still remains most effective at close to medium ranges. But unlike the standard barrels, which was more effective against lightly armored enemies, the charging barrels is still effective against lightly armored enemies, but it is also effective against those enemies that are heavily armored. So I did find the charging barrels a better modification than the standard barrels, due to efficiency and ammunition longevity. Again, don't forget it uses fusion cores as ammunition, so using half as much ammunition to deliver the same amount of destruction, to me at least, is a much, much better choice. After thinking for a while, upon refraction, it is unfortunate that you cannot make this weapon much lighter. At 39.5 pounds, it is not a light weapon, although photonically it is. Your enemies will beam with excitement as it shoots Princess Leia after a sex change. It shoots Lei Sir, and don't worry, all of the stray shots that miss the enemies will be punished and put in a prism. Once you use this weapon, forget ecstatic, you will be electrostatic. Interestingly, Final Judgment and Kermit the Frog's erythrocytes have similar traits a Kerr cell. I know there's at least one biologist and one physicist laughing somewhere. And finally, which modification to use? Is it a good weapon? I'm going to leave that up to your final judgment. And here it is, final judgment in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I do hope that this video helped you in understanding how to acquire Final Judgment and also which choice to make in terms of the barrel. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course, this will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you want to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. As always, once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I will see you there.